We placed this door in this frame out here. This is brand new. Now 28 years old, Jay Green bought his childhood home from the Detroit Land Bank back in 2019. He had big hopes for this space on Detroit's east side. I bought the house in hopes to refurbishing it and turning it to a community center. Because, Green says, here near Mack and Bewick, there's not a lot in terms of art. The very thing that saved him from the streets. You see, he lost his mother to cancer when he was 10. His grandmother raised him here, but he was in and out of jail in his teens. Not anymore. I've been mentoring to youth for about 10 years now. Um, I have about over eight years or so working in um, Detroit public schools and in just nonprofit work. He teaches, mentors to youth, even works for a nonprofit and is building his own. The Defaction Project is all about art, but they've also been collecting clothing and other items for those in need in his community. Green has been recognized by the city as a Detroit hero and has been a finalist for grants to create that community center. They call it the Bando. I really want, you know, some positive vibes over here. The van, the bando has allowed, you know, positivity to come back to the neighborhood. We've done workshops, we've done giveaways. But those hopes of rehabbing his grandmother's old home have not taken shape. This is the main area where I'm staying in right now. There was COVID, contractors and funding were hard to find. Still, he tried. The walls are a workshop for local artists, but without plumbing or a kitchen. This is a sink I just purchased. No furnace or water heater. Green is out of compliance with the purchase agreement and the land bank is reclaiming the property. I just, you know, received a notice in the mail saying that they're trying to, you know, take the property back. So, you know, I'm just trying to spread some awareness, you know, on my situation because I do a lot for the city and I feel like, you know, the city should have some empathy for me. A spokesperson for the Detroit Land Bank says they don't want to take the home, but it's been three and a half years. He's been given multiple extensions and Green failed to make the repairs required in the purchase agreement. And unless someone steps up quickly to do the required rehab, Green will lose the property. And he's afraid lose his opportunity to make an impact here. For a while, um, you know, I just thought my life was hopeless, but really honing in on art, in music and really focusing on that. It allowed me to, you know, stay out of jail, stay focused. It helped me get out the streets and change my life around. So I feel like, you know, I employ those skills on other youth will save their lives as well. If you can help Jay Green, please contact us right away. We'll put more information on our website, fox2detroit.com. On Detroit's east side, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.